morning, good morning, good morning. Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, May 15, 2020 and 22. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Church where the Holy Spirit is our guide. Presiding this morning, Evangelist Lori Greer. Our speaker this morning will be the Reverend Kevin Wright. Hear ye him. The music you hear in the background, we do not own the rights to. Right. 
Christ Jesus to do good work. Good work. Which God prepared in advance for us to do. God's word for God's people. Hallelujah. Somebody else say hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
service. Hallelujah. As you know, I am the wife of the preacher to the love you to glory. today. That's <laughs> 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 <It's> all right. <laughs>
ourselves to each other and it didn't work out. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right.
too much faster than you can do that. We can we worship and serve God and or and have I'm or uh, have fun. I think you can do both. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ezekiel chapter three. I want to look at verse 22 through 27 at a new international version. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 22 through 27. And if you got it, say amen. If you need a minute, say I need a minute. That's fine, as my seminary professor, friend, and mentor, Dr. Greg Moss, would say. That's what the table of contents is for. Don't try to impress anybody with your biblical knowledge. Everybody had to go there one time or another. Amen. No shame in that. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 22. And I want to just go through the end of the chapter, verse 27. The hand of the Lord was upon, was on me there. And he said to me, Get up! And go out to the plain, and there I will speak to you. So I got up and went out to the plain, and the glory of the Lord was standing there, like the glory I had seen by the Kabar River, and I fell face down. Then the Spirit came into me and raised me to my feet, he spoke to me and said, Go, shut yourself inside your house. And you, son of man, they will tie it with ropes. You will be bound so that you cannot go out among the people. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth so that you will be silent and unable to rebuke them, for they are a rebellious people. Mm. But when I speak to you, I will open your mouth and you shall say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, whoever will listen, let them listen. Whoever refuse, let them refuse, for they are a rebellious people. Wow. The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank and praise you for this time and this opportunity. Your God and God all by himself. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we delight. We love worshiping you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because you're truly worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for what has transpired here this day. Thank you, God. The thank singing, you, Lord. the shouting, the reading of the scripture, the worship and praise. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And now it is time to hear a word from on high. And I have to acknowledge and admit and confess I can't do it by myself. Yes, and I don't have the desire, the druthers, or the inclination to try. So I, I know I don't have to do it by myself because you promised never to leave me nor forsake me. You promised to be with me even to the end of this age. Amen. So I'm putting all my eggs in your basket. I'm asking you to do the God thing one more time. That is taking a small, finite, powerless, sinful, wretched creature like me and speaking a word that someone may get saved. Someone may get closer to you, but above all, your name is praised. Yes, yes. In the mighty, matchless, marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous, miraculous, majestic name yes, yes. of our Messiah, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 23, 2 through 27. I want to try to read from the book My Struggle with Obedience. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. My Struggle with Obedience. I think I know you guys. I know you're saved to the bone, sanctified, but don't tell me. <laughs> You don't struggle anymore. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. My name is Kevin R. Wright. I have been walking with the Lord for 38 years. Amen. I am a believer in God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I have been to that fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's hands where sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose all their guilty stains. I believe in the once crucified yes. and now resurrected Savior. Yes. And in my journey, there are times in which I feel so good about my faith. I feel 
That's so good about my faith journey that I am operating in the will of God. I'm doing what he's asked me to do. I am flowing in the gifts that he's given me. Right and I want to sing and I want to shout. Amen. Because there's nothing like being a Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. And then there are times Go ahead. that I struggle right. in my faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are times that things that I thought were behind me mm -hmm. seem to crop up. Yes, right. 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 And I have this internal battle, this internal struggle mm -hmm. within me. There are times I feel good about my faith. There are times when I look in the mirror, I don't like what I see. Amen. There are days that I love waking up and I feel good. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then there are times that I would like to do a do over. Because as faithful as God has been to me, I have to acknowledge I ain't always been as faithful to him. <laughs> We may ask for it, don't deserve it, and he gives it to us. All right. And for it, still don't deserve it, and he gives it to us. Right. He doesn't give it based on us being good. He gives it based on him being good. Yeah. And even if we have the recipient of the grace of God, all of us, not everybody, but everybody, struggle uh -huh. in him. have a major message when they're coming up out of God's word. Ezekiel is among the exiles at the Kabar River in Babylon. Mm -hmm. And Ezekiel is at odds with himself. He is struggling in his faith. Uh -huh. Ezekiel was born into a priestly family. He is a priest. His father was and it was assumed that the son would take on the with a message from God that the people did not necessarily want right. to hear. Okay. Right. The prophet did not come with everything sugar and spice and everything nice. Right. And the prophet and the priest hated each other. Mm. And so now Ezekiel is both prophet and priest. All right. And he is having trouble integrating those two personalities. <laughs> and so now he's struggling with what he has to do, which tells the people, literally tell them, that God is not happy with you to preach the funeral of his own people. First, what he wants to do, and shake hands and keep everything going. So Ezekiel has got this internal battle going in on inside of him. He is struggling with what he wants to do. Keep everything the way it is. Or obey God. And do I have somebody here who can testify that you're just like Ezekiel? You have some internal struggle that's inside of you. I know Stop worshiping idols. Amen. If they do not turn to me, 
they're going to have a problem they don't want. All right. There the Lord met him. He, Ezekiel fell face down, prostrate before the Lord. God said, get up! Go home. Yeah. Got to get up out of here. You're going home, bro. And when you get home, shut the door, and you're going to be tied up. Not only will you be tied up, I, the Lord, is, I'm going to have your tongue stuck to the roof of your mouth. Then I'm going to speak to you again. And then you're going to tell the people what I want you to tell them. Some will listen, some ain't. That's really the story right there. But one of the things I love about this text that really grabbed me is Ezekiel is mad at God. He is upset. He really, really is not feeling God at this point in time. And God knows he's mad. But yet, God, I can't tell you how many times I told the Lord Jesus what I thought he should do and how I thought he should operate his business. But guess what? I can get mad. Throw chairs, throw tables, kick my feet, cry, whine, and complain. But guess what? He's still God. I'm still not. And he's going to do what he's going to do. And that's what I want to do. Well, I got somebody who can tell me. The God ain't always been on your Christmas list. So the question I want to raise is what happens? What does God do? When we're struggling in our faith, when we're struggling with our obedience, number one, he will separate us from the crowd. <laughs> Look what he does says to Ezekiel in 22. Ezekiel is among the exiles at the Kabar River. Tongue in your mouth is going to be 
stuck to the roof of your mouth. And we will make the situation worse by opening our mouths. So God will not allow us to do what we want to do at the time we want to do it. Because he is adjusting some folks' attitude. All right. Do I have somebody here who can testify that you know some folks? It's a major tool that when they come east, you want to go west. When they go north, you want to go south. Michael Michael Jackson said, I want to be where you are, but you don't want to be where they are. Because God has got to give them an attitude adjustment. And some folk will get in the way of the work of God. And I got news for you. He'll give all of us an attitude adjustment. I know where you are now, but you ain't always where you are right now. All of us have some goals. All of us have some doing All of us have had to deal with the Lord Jesus. But it's not finished yet. And all of us can wear a sign on our chest. Excuse me. For the work that being constructed on me. Because God ain't through with me. Yeah. I am not a finished product. I am work in process. But thanks be unto God. For the Lord Jesus has you. For the Lord Jesus I let me say this morning. It's all in it his hands. <laughs> Shall be saved. Amen. 
Revelation 3 and 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and sup with him and he with me. Amen. Romans 5 and 8, that God commended his love toward us, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So if you come to your heart, he'll make you where he wants you to be. Amen. 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 Amen.
now I'm going to turn it back to you to write and we'll close it out. Forgive me, sir. Thank you once again.